guys this is Erin in coronavirus world this video that I'm about to show you is from pre coronavirus world so I just wanted to give it a little preface to you know get you situated before I just throw you into <laughs> a crazy environment this vlog is from like months ago it starts out with me putting my Christmas decorations away that's how long ago it was um, and I just had random clips on my computer of videos I had taken from like from when I took the Christmas decorations down up until like March and I kind of just want to go through them and <laughs> put some of them together for you because I haven't sat down and done a vlog in a while but I figured it would be confusing for you to just see this video pop up that is from months ago so I wanted to give some sort of explanation especially now that we're living in a very different world um it's actually interesting to, for me to go through and edit this because things are just so different um from what they used to be now and it's kind of like a little you know archival piece of history that I have here <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to pop in and give that little explanation before the vlog but enjoy and hopefully I'll be posting more now that I have more time in this quarantine world all right I'll let you guys just watch the vlog now I'll see you later hi guys it is Saturday and I haven't vlogged in a very long time here's Eloise <laughs> Um, I haven't vlogged since Christmas basically so I figured I'd pick up the camera today and vlog a little bit. What are you doing Eloise? She's going after my jewelry. Anyway, I'm home alone right now because Ben went to go see a movie with his dad. Um, he should be back soon but my plan for today was to take down the Christmas decorations even though it's like January 18th or something like that. I don't know what today is. Wow, I was right. It is January 18th. How lucky of me. Anyway, my plan was to take down the Christmas decorations and to get our Christmas tree down. But so far, I haven't done any of that and it's almost 5 o'clock. What I have done is I tidied up my bedroom, I made my bed behind me, put some clothes away, started tidying up around the apartment. I dropped some stuff off at UPS that I had to send out in the mail to return. I stopped at Home Goods because it's right next to UPS. And then I dropped some stuff off at the dry cleaner. And now I'm back here and it's almost 5 o'clock. So I figured I'd get started on putting the Christmas stuff away since that was my goal. But yeah, I'm also going to see a movie with my parents and it starts at 7.30. So we'll probably leave here at like 6.30 because it takes a little bit to get there. But we're seeing Jojo Rabbit, which I've already seen. Ben and I already saw it, but I really, really liked it. So I want to see it again and I want my parents to see it too. So I'm basically dragging them to this, um, but hopefully they like it. <laughs> I'm also wearing a new sweater. I got this from ASOS. I ordered a bunch of sweaters from ASOS that were like different colors because I have sweaters for cri Christmas. <laughs> I have sweaters in my closet like I have a ton of sweaters but they're all kind of drab and blah and like black and white and gray and I kind of wanted something more colorful so that's what I got colorful sweaters I hear the door I think that's Ben coming in I have to let him in Ben's home <laughs> here's all the crap there's the sweaters I got and um yeah I have to tidy all of this up and um all the Christmas stuff needs to be put away. Ah! How was the movie? Good. <laughs> was it better than Jojo Rabbit? Probably. What? No! It's... It can't be! I don't know. I think it... No. I, I, don't, I don't think I liked it more. No. Well, you just said it was better. I think it might be a better movie. But you didn't like it as much no, as not, well, Yeah. But that, I think, because I like to laugh when I watch a movie, it was a little too serious, that's all. Mm, I don't 
like the sound of that. It was, uh, it was very good. He saw 1917. Was it better than Saving Private Ryan? No. Uh, it's a different type of war movie. That's all. Okay. It's, it's more about the futility of, well, I guess that movie was too about the futility of war, but, um, it was very good. Oh no, I was hoping Jojo Rabbit would win Best Picture. It's very pretty. That movie I just watched, like, they did a great job. I don't know how they built those sets. <sighs> Poor Jojo Rabbit. Definitely rooting for Jojo. <laughs> I can't. I cannot accept that there's a better movie. Before Ben came home, I was going to say I'm going to do a little try-on haul of the sweaters I got. Because I haven't even opened them yet. Do that. This is one of the them. Up. I'm going to do the tree. What? I'm going to do the tree. Well, okay. I'm going to help. I'm just going to do my try-on haul first. You don't need to help me do the tree. I can do the tree myself. Okay. Here we go. Let's get my sweaters. These are the sweaters I got. Like I said, this one I also got. Um, I don't remember the name of this blue one I'm wearing, but I'll put a link of it below. I got everything from ASOS. Um, yeah. Oh, I accidentally took this tape too. Stuck to this. This is from when I was packing, packing my um, stuff to be mailed earlier. Let's just put that aside. And yeah, let's get to trying them on. This is the first sweater I got. Can you see it? Like I said, don't remember the name of it. It's got this little cut off on the side. It's pretty short. Usually I like my sweaters to be longer, but I still like it because I usually wear high waisted pants anyway. And I really like the color and it's comfy and thick. And I like this neckline too. So that's the first one. Yes. Here's the second one. Don't know how I feel about this. This is from Miss Selfridge. Um, I think it's like too small. Online it looked longer and bigger. So I think the size just might be too small. I like the color, but I may have to return it for a bigger size. Darn, I hate when that happens, especially when I buy stuff online. Crap. This one's also shorter. Pretty sure the other one is shorter too. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. Is it too small or am I just not used to wearing things this conforming? Usually I wear things that are very flowy. I don't know. I don't know, I'll have to think about this one. Here's the next one. This one is also too small, and I think it looks kind of ridiculous on me because this part is too small compared to the arms, you know? I think I just look weird. So I think I need to go up to a size six or a medium on ASOS based off of both of these. What the heck? I think this is from the ASOS brand itself, but I liked the color and I liked these things on it. I like those baubles, I think they're called. And I do like the material. It's very soft, but it's too small. I'm going to have to return this too. What the hell? <laughs> Forget about it. And here is the final gray one. Boring gray. like my other sweaters, but I just kind of liked it because it was a different fit. You know, it has these sleeves. Although I think it just kind of looks like it's not meant to be this short, but it is. I don't know, I can't tell if I like this either. I liked the neck too. I don't know, this one's also short. Maybe I need the bigger size than this too. This whole thing was just a fail. I'm sorry you guys had to witness this. At least this one fit. I'm gonna put that back on and continue on with my day. Got some more returns to make. Finally, gonna start putting them away. Ugh, I don't want to.
as you can see, the tree is all bare. And Ben and I are leaving now to go see Jojo Rabbit. Are you ready? It's the next day now. We went and saw the movie, had some dinner with my parents, and now we're back. I'm wearing the same thing, so it kind of seems like the same day. But it's light outside now, so it's not. I'm not wearing the same thing. Ben and I are continuing taking down the Christmas decorations, but we have to go to lunch with his friend in like 40 minutes, so this is gonna be real quick, and I doubt we're gonna get it all done. <laughs> So let's see what we get done in that short amount of time. Here we go. Now that all the Christmas decorations are down and it is bare in here, I'm going to put up the Valentine's Day decorations. We were vacuuming up all the pine needles, but I think we overheated our vacuum and it stopped working, so we're only like halfway vacuumed in here, but we're waiting for it to cool down so we can finish that. But for now, I'm gonna put up the Valentine's Day decorations. Let's go. It's a Wednesday now, and I'm making dinner. I'm frying some scallops so that I can make those. And then I'm gonna make stir fry vegetables, which I've never made before, so we'll see if they work out or not. I have baked potatoes going in the microwave. I like them better in the oven, but I'm low on time today, so don't have time for that. Um, but right now, I'm gonna cut up the vegetables and get started. Here's the vegetables I cut up. I have broccoli, zucchini, red pepper, a shallot, and um, green beans. And then the scallops are drying off. Now I gotta put these on a pan. There's the vegetables cooking. Mm -hmm. I just put olive oil in there right now and a little bit of butter. I'm gonna put soy sauce, um, salt and pepper, and um, what's it called? And garlic powder on there. Once they're more cooked, the scallops look really good. I think they're actually almost done. This is the finished product. I already took a bite of the scallop, but it's pretty good so far. Hi guys, it is Saturday, and Ben and I are about to head out to do a little bit of shopping. Um, but first I have to go to UPS to drop some stuff off. And we're gonna try to find Ben a pair of shoes because for Christmas I bought Ben shoes online and then on Christmas day he opened them and they were not the shoes that I ordered. I didn't check them before I wrapped them up. But they were totally different shoes. And I returned them, but I have not bought Ben a new pair of shoes yet. So, um, we're going to go out and get him a pair of shoes. But, I figured I'd show you my outfit. I am not sure my room is a mess. I don't know how I feel about this sweater. I think I don't like it. I don't usually wear green because it makes me feel like a leprechaun since I have red hair. And the sleeves are puffy, and I just don't know how I feel about that. But I'm wearing it anyway. At least it's soft. It's from ASOS. I think I tried it on earlier in that little try-on ASOS session I did. 
but um, I got one that was bigger. And this one fits, but I just don't know how I feel about it. Anyway, that's what I'm wearing. <laughs> I have my necklace on, which I always wear, which is from Urban Outfitters. And my pants are from Madewell. Let's get going. Ben and I just dropped the stuff off at UPS. Well, Ben did. I sat in the car. But now we're going into Home Goods, my favorite place. Can you see it? I can't turn it any further on this tripod, but trust me, it's there. It's there. I found this mug. Don't know if I want it yet, but we'll decide. Now I'm looking for a shower curtain because I need a new one. I'm not seeing anything I like though. Ben and I are gonna get Thai food now. We went to the mall, could not find any shoes for Ben. All the shoes are super weird. We found one pair, but he didn't like the color of it. So I'm gonna try to go. <laughs> He's outside the car waiting for me. So I'm gonna try to find some online in a different color. Anyway, we're gonna go in and get Thai food now. <laughs> um, we're back in the car now. <clears throat> I didn't actually film in there. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Get my takeout box out. <laughs> As proof that we actually went there. Look. It's in there. <laughs> I got something different than I normally get. Usually I get pad thai with chicken, but this time I got what Ben usually gets, which is grapau, and it has like green beans in it, carrots, peppers, and then it comes with rice and chicken, and it has like a nice spicy, flavorful sauce. It was good. It was really good. Anyway, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. <clears> throat> We're sitting in the parking lot of the restaurant now. <laughs> and I'm forcing Ben to go into Anthropology, which is down the street. Um, I don't know why he doesn't want to go in there. It's a great store. But I'm forcing him to go, and I'm pretty excited. So, let's get going. Anthropology, there it is. Plus, it's snowing. I mostly come in here to look at the mugs because I'm addicted, although that one's ugly. <laughs> I'm addicted to mugs, but these aren't doing it for me, I'm not gonna lie. This one's nice. Ooh, florals. We are back home now. I got the laser going for Eloise, if you see that happening behind me. Yep, there it is on my body. <laughs> But I figured I'd just show you the few things I got today. It's mostly mugs, let's be honest. First off, I got two mugs from West Elm. <clears throat> they're like, um, this one's gray and the other one is pink. But they're like a, a matte texture. I don't really know how to describe it. It kind of feels like um, clay, maybe? Anyway, I got one in gray, if it would focus, <laughs> it doesn't matter, you can see it, it's a gray cup. I also got another one that's pink, focus, focus, yeah, it's like a light pink color, I love that color, but these were 20% off and I think they were originally $8, so I got them for 6 Then at Home Goods, I got this mug, which says, love you. It's a Valentine's mug, obviously. Um, I wasn't really sure if I should buy it or not, but I don't have too many Valentine's mugs, and I feel like my mug collection was falling short for this holiday, <laughs> so I got one to add to the collection, and I'll put it on my rack back there with all my other mugs. This was, I think, $3. Then, I went to Sephora to get some essentials. I got this little razor. I like to use these on my eyebrows. I've never gotten them at Sephora. I usually get them at Sally's. They're called Tinkle Razors. These were more expensive than those. These were like $9. I think the Tinkle Razors are like $3 or something like that. But I was mostly getting this out of convenience of already being at Sephora. <laughs> so I wouldn't have to go to Sally's to get them. So really, I'm just lazy. But we'll see if these work any better. I really don't have a problem with the tinkle ones, but I use them on my eyebrows and I use them on peach fuzz on my face. 
so I basically shave my face like a man but with these little razors. I got the standard Clinique cleansing balm. That's a must have, it's not focusing, but you get the gist. And then I got the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. Yes, Marula Oil. This is expensive and I'm kind of mad that I started using it because I got addicted to it and now I can't stop buying it and it's just like unnecessarily expensive. But I continue to buy it because I just like it. Ben got socks. Pretty exciting. We never found a pair of shoes for him. I think I told you that already. We found ones that we liked, just not in the right color. So I'm gonna go online and order him a different color in those. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically all that happened. I'm gonna eat my leftover Thai food, even though I just ate like two hours ago but I'm hungry again, so that's what I'm gonna do. There's my leftover Thai and a glass of Pinot Grigio. I usually like red wine, but I like white with spicy food like this. But yeah, I figured I'd just show you that since I forgot to film in the restaurant. <laughs> Hi guys! Ben and I are currently in a different location. Can you guess where it is? It looks very creepy. So you will never guess where it is. We're in Bedford, Pennsylvania, in the middle of nowhere. For many ga Galentines, a mini Valentine's getaway for one night at a bed and breakfast, which is where we are right now in the parking lot. About to go in, and then we're gonna walk around the town area, get something to eat, and yeah. You excited? Oh yeah. Ben thinks he's been here before. It's bringing back memories. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go through some sort of like PTSD realization and then mm -hmm. he'll freak out and um, we'll have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can, are we gonna see if we can check in? I don't see why not. Okay, let's see. Cause check-in isn't until three and it's 1.50 right now. But Go ask him what's the worst I can have. They say, no, not yet. I'll be like, okay. Okay, let's see. Here we go. This green building is a bed and breakfast we're staying in. It's called the Golden Eagle Inn. This is the back of it though. We made it to our room. Here it is. Ben's going pee. <laughs> and this is the other room. I didn't realize that there were two rooms. I thought there were just two beds. <laughs> <laughs> kind of creepy though with that chair over there in the corner That's staring creepy. at you while it's you just sleep. A regular chair. I'm scared. Oh my god. <gasps> What's that? Alright, I'm gonna go grab our stuff out of the car. I'm gonna come with you because I'm scared to stay in here by myself. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm a little bit creeped out. <laughs> Let's go. You can see the art museum from our window. What can you see out of this window? I'm so out of shape. Whew, we had to walk up three flights of stairs. And you can see the town area from that window. Nice. Oh, there's the taco place we wanted to go to. Literally right across the street. Pit Theater. If I don't die first. Got nice little green, I think this is aloe. Nice, nice. All right, you ready to go explore? Yep. They have a special washcloth for your makeup, which is good for me because I do take my makeup off with a washcloth. Wow! What you thinking? Nothing. What do you want to eat, the taco still? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We're going to get tacos. There is our bed and breakfast from the front. And is this the taco place? This is very strange. This is the room we had to walk through to get to the tacos.
we're walking around the town now. Ate the tacos, they're really good. Now we're gonna do some shopping. Turning at law, maybe I'll open a law office here. <laughs> Ike's Drugs. Hey, Bad Boys Bistro, so we talked about going. Dogs. <laughs> Bad Boys Bistro. This is the town square with horse stirrup parking. I didn't know that, Ben told me that. <laughs> it's a World War II memorial. And a post office. And what I think is a courthouse. Wow. I think we should cross. Wow. Cross. Head back down. Okay, let's go. Ben said everything here is from the 1700s, including the place that we're staying. And now I'm scared even more that it's haunted. I'm scared. If there's a haunting tonight, guys, I will document it. But I'm praying there won't be a haunting. Look at those buildings. So cute. It's a law office. I wonder if it's still in use. It says John Adams. <laughs> 1766. Wow. This place is old. There's a bird just sitting up there in that little crevice. It must be cold. Poor birdie. I'm ending the Bedford vlog in the same place we began it. In the car in the parking lot of our bed and breakfast. Ben and I checked out. We ate some breakfast down the street. It was pretty good. They were playing like club music in there though, so that was interesting. Way too much. <laughs> but we're heading out now. Say goodbye to the Golden Eagle Inn. I don't remember where I last... Head south on North Huntingdon Avenue toward East Pitt Street, then turn left onto East Pitt Street. I don't remember where I last left off on the vlog. But Ben and I ate dinner last turn night left onto at East the Pitt Golden Street, Eagle Then Inn. turn right onto US 220 Business And South. it was very good. We both got steak and a crab cake and some sort of Brussels sprout potato thing. It was very good. And we sat at the pub bar thing, which is in the basement of the Golden Eagle Inn for a little bit. Cause our reservation was at 7.30 and we had time before then. So we were just kind of sitting there. Three and a half hours. <laughs> and that was nice too. And now we're heading home. Both Ben and I slept like crap last night. Because... Continue on US 220 Business South for one and a half miles. Um, because it got super hot in our bedroom. What's that? Oh, it's a senior center. Yeah, it got extremely hot in our room. It was even too hot for me. And so we couldn't sleep. <laughs> and we both kept waking up. And I was kind of scared of ghosts, so that was also keeping me up. But it was mostly the being hot thing that <laughs> kind of <laughs> overrode any fear I had of ghosts because I was too concerned with being so hot. But other than that, 